Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Yuki and for today's video we are back with another what not to buy from Aritzia. As you guys may or may not know, I spend a lot of money at Aritzia. I've been shopping there for many, many years. You guys know that I love the brand, but there are some things that I just feel like they are not for me or that I wouldn't recommend them to other people. So today I'm gonna to be talking about those things. I'm just gonna talk through my reasoning and why they're not gonna work for me. And maybe this is something that you guys need to hear as well because it's so easy to get FOMO on Aritzia and just buy everything because they might run out of stock or they're not going to be on sale anymore and I definitely experienced that myself so I think it'll be good to share why I won't be purchasing these things because we don't need to be recommended to buy things all the time so if you're interested in seeing what they are just keep watching. The item that I won't be purchasing is one that I've actually purchased in the past and it is the only turtleneck in white. The reason that I won't be recommending this one, I know a lot of people like it. I feel like it's very see-through. I have it in a size medium because at the time they actually ran out of the small. It's very long for a regular top. There's a lot of extra fabric when I tuck it into my bottom, which I always do with my top. And I always wear like high-waisted tops as well. So there's there's a lot of fabric that's just like stuffed into my pants and it feels very bulky. I know a lot of people are wondering the difference between the only turtleneck and the freshman turtleneck and I actually did buy the freshman turtleneck in my most recent hauls and I feel like this one is just so much better. It's less see-through, it's also stretchy, it's not as long and I just feel like the material of this feels a little bit more durable than the only turtleneck. In terms of softness, the only turtleneck is softer because it is more of that like cotton feeling where a freshman turtleneck leans towards more like spandex. It's not as fuzzy as the only turtleneck. Personally, um, I think the only turtleneck is a great top by itself. It's just that now that I have the freshman turtleneck, I prefer this one so much more. One of the jackets that I know I definitely will not be purchasing is the Ghana jacket. If you're not familiar with the names, the Ghana jacket is their wool shirt jacket. It's also a fairly long length with no um, waist accentuation. The reason that I won't be buying this jacket is because I know that it's not gonna work for my body. I love them on other people. I've tried it on in store. I have really slim shoulders, so I like my jackets to have a defined shoulder so that it kind of balances out my figure a little bit more. But when I put the jacket on, I end up just looking like a trapezoid, just slim on the top and then wider on the bottom, and it just doesn't look very flattering on my body type. If you have more broad shoulders, this would look great for you. And I've seen a lot of people wear this jacket with that kind of frame and it looks so flattering on them. But for me, I don't have any semblance of a figure in that jacket, purely personal preference. I do have a shirt jacket that I absolutely love from Zara. It's a similar style, but it comes with a waist cinch. So for that one, I feel like it works for me because it kind of cancels out that trapezoid feeling but that's why i won't be purchasing that jacket the next thing that i won't be recommending that you purchase are anything in the tnhl fabric so aritzia has a couple of different materials for leggings they have the tnhl TNA Life, TNA Butter, and then I think they came out with a fourth one. I've tried the TNA Chill and TNA Life in my loungewear haul, and I was just not a fan of the TNA Chill in particular. It's a true like lounge leggings, so you really can't work out in it. It's like cotton material, and for me, it just doesn't fit me right. I feel like when I bend over, like everything is showing because the fabric is simply not opaque enough. The TNA Chill is the most affordable, but I feel like you really do get what you pay for. What you're getting is just lower quality items, so I wouldn't recommend that one. The TNA Life is much, much better. If you're undecided or if you're not sure what the differences are, just stay away from TNHL. I'm just not a fan of that legging. I feel like Aritzia makes other leggings that are better. Yeah, if you want to hear more details, you can watch me in under haul or you can watch my bike shorts review, but that is my thoughts on their leggings. So moving on to the next thing that I don't recommend from Aritzia, the cropped hoodies. 
I do have an old version of this. I purchased this a while ago, but looking at the website, it does look very similar in terms of the material and how it fits. If you guys watch my other videos, you know that I have almost an unhealthy obsession with wearing my Aritzia boyfriend hoodie and sweatpants together. The reason that I don't recommend the cropped hoodie is just because it just fits weird, you know? I feel like some hoodies just aren't meant to be cropped. That might just be my personal opinion. Like the material is almost too good, you know? It's like too stiff. It's too thick and too stiff to hang in a flattering way on your body when it's a cropped version. Because the hood is also very big and very heavy, which is great for my regular regular length hoodie but for the short one it ends up being unbalanced in terms of the weight distribution so the hood ends up pulling the collar of the sweatshirt back so then the front of it juts out. When I used to wear this, I would just always be adjusting it because of how heavy the hood was and how the front of the hoodie wasn't enough to support that weight, so it just kept falling back. I feel like there's just other cropped hoodies out there that are made of a softer material that kind of hangs better. And this one, even though it works so good as a full length hoodie. I just don't recommend the crop version, but I love the full length version. The last thing that I won't be recommending are garment dye sweats. In my loungewear haul, I did purchase a couple of the sweats in the garment dye colors because I wanted to try all the different fits of the Aritzia sweatsuits so that I can pick out the perfect fit for me. And because stores weren't open, I had to order them to my house. So I got them in a bunch of different colors just because I was curious. Green one, I got the camel color and then I got a tie-dye. I ended up sending back those items for my current gray uh, sweatsuit set which I love but afterwards I read a lot of reviews and watched some YouTube videos about how the garment dye sweats have a lot of issue with washing. I'm glad I sent those back uh, because I definitely would have been very sad to see the sweatpants getting more faded after washing it each time. So I know that the garment dye colors are super nice, super cute but I think just for practical reasons. I don't recommend you buying anything that's garment dye from Aritzia. They clearly have issues that they need to address and before they address it, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any of those sweatpants or sweatshirts as they are very expensive. So I don't want to be wasting money on something that's not going to last. Those are my two cents on all of those things. I hope that you find them helpful. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or disagree. I would love to know and happy 2020 it's gonna be a great year and I hope you guys all have a really great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!